Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to yet another news video. This is actually exciting news. I know I say that a lot, but this is truly very exciting. Now, I have good and bad news about this video. The good news is we are getting official physical copies of the FNAF games. The bad news is it comes from Australia. I'm just messing around. But of course, jumping straight into it, earlier today, and by earlier today, I literally mean like 10 minutes ago, it was revealed that FNAF, the core collection, and Help Wanted are getting physical copies. Now, oddly enough, it seems like Help Wanted may be coming first before the core series, but don't quote me on that. I'm only going off of the classification dates for the, for the collections, right? Help Wanted was classified on the 28th, and the core series was only classified today on the 30th. And also, Click Team has been very busy with still getting out ports for FNAF 6 and Ultimate Custom Night on consoles, so maybe they are still trying to figure that out, um, but at the same time, Steerwall is also very busy with, again, finishing the ports for Help Wanted, and also, they're working on Security Breach, so they don't have a whole lot of time either. So which ones will come out first? I'm not entirely sure. Something that is interesting, though, is that instead of being listed as separate games, the FNAF series is... it's collected up, you know? It is the core collection. So games that I think we can expect to see in this core collection are, of course, FNAF 1, 2, 3, 4, Sister Location, um, Pizza Sim, and also UCN. I'm tired of people asking, Scott is never going to port FNAF World. Um, I also highly doubt he will ever port Freudian Space 2. FNAF AR, of course, of course can't be ported because it is literally an AR game, and correct me, if I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, but so far, I think AR only works with um, software that is built into phones. I know you need, like, AR Core for FNAF AR. So yeah, FNAF 1 through 4, Sister Location, Pizza Sim, and UCN, um, I think we can all expect to see in this core collection. And then, of course, we have Help Wanted as its own separate game, which, again, is interesting why they did that. Actually, it's not weird why they did that. It's actually very obvious, because the core collection is being released by Click Team, and then Help Wanted is being released by Steel Wolf. That is my bad. I'm an idiot. So something that is interesting, and I don't know if this means the release date is going to be this year, but the year of publication does say 2020 for both the core collection and Help Wanted. So maybe we can expect to see physical copies of these games this year. It's multi-platform, of course, um, country of origin, USA, it's English. The, um, the publisher is Maximum Games. I honestly have not heard of them. Let me look them up. Okay, so they are literally just a publishing company for a lot of games, so nothing too special there. Um, or maybe I'm wrong, in which case you, you guys are going to correct me in the comments. But this is very exciting, because ever since the ports were announced, we were all hoping for physical copies of the games, and we are finally getting them. This is so amazing. Imagine just walking into Walmart or GameStop or some other store, and you just see FNAF on the shelves. That's gonna be so cool. So it does have some ratings. Um, let me see, it looks like it is the same. Actually, it's not the same. The violence is slightly more with the core series than Help Wanted, which I guess I get, but overall, it's mainly the same. There's no drug use, there's no nudity, there's no sex. Help Wanted apparently has very mild impact when it comes to violence, but um, the core series has mild impact. The language for both are mild, and then the themes for both are moderate. So yeah, that is the rating for the games. Very interesting to see um, how they categorized it. Again, it's weird. I personally find it weird that the violence is less in Help Wanted, but again, I guess it makes sense when you really think about what's going on in the games, especially the core series. It's like you see blood, you literally see people die. So, well, I mean, it is in like 8-bit form, but still. So as of right now, there was no cover artwork um, for the games, but we do have some things to go off of. Now, I actually use these for the profile pictures for, uh, the FNAF games on Steam, so I really do hope they choose these, because personally, I think they look great. So these are all made by Click Team, you know, the official people working on the ports, so I feel like this is a good reference to go off of. It may not be the final covers, but again, it's a good reference. So these are all for the Xbox ports, and as you can see, this is the FNAF 1 cover. Again, these are not finished, these are not finalized, these may not even be what the covers are going to look like, but again, for the third time, for the fourth time, however times I've said it already, 
this is a good reference. So as you can see, it has the FNAF 1 office in the background, it's got Freddy, and it also has Five Nights at Freddy's up at the top. Of course, they're gonna have to add a bit more, like copyright click team, copyright Scott Cawthon, all that stuff, you know, the age rating, the price, but I think it's a good start. For FNAF 2, it has the toy animatronics, the three toys from the main menu, Toy Freddy, Toy Bonnie, and Toy Chica. And again, it also says Five Nights at Freddy's 2 up in the top right. FNAF 3, I personally love this one. It has the FNAF 3 office in the background, um, along with Springtrap, just kind of looming, you know, peeking out from the cover artwork. I also, I'm curious to know what the backs are gonna be like. And I just grabbed a random game from my shelf, but on the side, I really hope they have the official um, FNAF logo and the official fonts for the dedicated game. I think that would look great. And this is my case right here. Look at the FNAF 4 font. I think it looks really, really good. And as you can see, it is mainly just the main menu, but I think it works pretty well. Maybe they'll add Fredbear or Nightmare Freddy or just someone on the cover so it screams. FNAF literally screams, you know, jump scare, ha ha. But overall, I think this looks great for, again, a reference cover, something to go off of for collecting. And Sister Location has the same thing as of right now. I don't think Pizza Sim and UCN have one, um, but I'm sure based off of the ones we've seen, you can piece together in your head what they might look like. But Sister Location's um, cover looks very good. Again, is on the finished covers. These are just for Xbox, so maybe they'll use these, maybe they won't, I don't know. But I personally really love the cover for um, Sister Location right now. So again, I really hope they do use these because personally, I think they look really good. And overall, that's basically it. Again, there's not much to go off of. It's just two sources, which has information that we kind of already know about. You know, we know the names, we know who's making the games, we know um, usually what the age range for FNAF is. We don't know the official cover art, but again, we do have some ones to go off of. So yeah, that's basically it. As a quick side note, this has nothing to do with the ports, but Illumix is having another week where they are bringing back old skins. And it seems like the ones this time around are going to be flaming characters. You know, Flaming Springtrap, uh, Broiler Baby, Flamethrower Bear Endo, and Scorching Chica, as well as Shamrock Freddy, because it has luck, you know, luck of the Irish. Glowing reviews, maybe I'm stupid, I can't really remember what character was glowing. They might be talking about the Flame characters again, because, you know, Flame is pretty lit. And yeah, uh, that's just a quick update for FNAF AR. As of right now, this is all the news for the physical copies. Hopefully more news doesn't come out while I edit this because then it won't be in the video and people will yell at me. But yeah, so far that's it. If there's any more news, of course I'll come back. You may have noticed I've been gone for a couple of days. I've kind of been in and off on YouTube because I've been really busy these past few weeks with school and now I'm starting Travis Ed and it's like bruh, three hour classes for that crap. What's going on? I really want to get things under control again because I just fucking love doing videos and unfortunately I just haven't had the time to do as many as I would like to do. But yeah, hopefully I can come back as soon as possible. But thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all on the flip side. Good all right, bye, bye. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us. <laughs>